Well, here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do, I was able to pick up a little electric golf cart, and uh, I'm going to use that on a project I've been wanting to start on, and I want to try to be sure and have it ready for this summer, plan on using it a little bit then, uh, but anyway, let's take a look at that golf cart. Well, overall, it's not in very bad shape. Uh, it is a 36 volt. Uh, everything is here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start stripping the body off of it uh, it has all the batteries in it electric motor forward and reversing switch all of that uh, it is I'm gonna say the older style it does not have one of those uh, big electric uh, switching boxes everything is old-school mechanical so I'm gonna guess that this thing is like 80s. Uh, I do see that it's a Cushman, so I, I do know that. I can probably now check the the uh, serial number on it and uh, find some more information about it. I have taken the body off of the golf cart and I had these old wire wheels that uh, come off of a little Fiat and uh, so I was able to uh, get them to mount up. They mounted pretty good. Uh, and they are real car wheels. So anyway, I feel like uh, they're gonna do real nice. And they're really gonna add to the appearance of what I'm gonna build. So it has kind of a suspension on the front. It has a, a single leaf, leaf spring. I'll bring you up there and show that to you in a little bit. The rear had like rubber pads. This is a Cushman uh, golf cart. And the rubber pads were just disintegrated. They were just gone. I was wondering why the thing kind of sat uneven in the back. But uh, anyway, what I did, I think you see that round pipe there. And what I did, I just made the rear suspension rigid. Here's your 36 uh, volt motor. It's direct drive to the differential. Your brake mechanism is right here on your pinion of your differential. And when I mash the pedal, it just works like a potentiometer and in each step it increases the voltage. So I'm thinking probably for, for my application and uh, just old school reliability and inefficiency, uh, this, this will work good for me. You know, I'm not going to use it on a golf course, I'm just going to piddle around here on the place with it. Here's the front suspension. You can see the monoleaf here. Another thing that I like is the steering. It's got kind of like an automotive style steering. Steers real nice, real easy. Steering box seems to be in pretty good shape. I wouldn't expect it on a golf cart to be too war. But uh, anyway, I'm sure I'll probably have to tweak that some, but uh, that's a pretty good start. I like that. Just to give you a comparison on the, the difference of the size of tires, uh, the one closest to us, that is uh, what was originally on there. And these tires, I'm going to use them, uh, maybe make a little wagon for the tractor or something like that uh, for the yard tractor. And uh, I'm thinking with these larger wheels, uh, it's probably going to increase my top speed quite a bit. So uh, not that that's really anything that I was shooting after, but it should really make a difference on your top end. Well, here you go. This is the body that I'm going to put on it. This is one of those... Uh, or you could buy the plans and I, I bought the plans years ago for this thing and it was make your own horseless carriage and I did this when the kids were little they're grown and got kids of their own now but uh, I was always kind of tickled with this thing and so I hung on to it and kept it and uh, this electric golf cart drive train is going to be kind of the upgrade for it uh, that seat I had that upholstered years ago, and it's held up nice. Uh, originally, the tiller, I had tiller type steering on it. 
what I'm gonna do is I'll take that out, I'll use the golf cart steering and it'll come up through the floor right in here. Uh, what I can do, I can use this area to access some of the controls and everything. And uh, then I've got the pickup bed, you know, you can haul some stuff in it. So it's almost kind of a practical toy here. Uh, the batteries, what I'm gonna do is I'll slide them under here and I'll have three on each side and that's how I'll get my 36 volts. Well, hey guys, what do you think about that project? That's gonna make a pretty neat little golf cart, isn't it? And uh, you know, with that pickup bed on there, it's not only a toy, but it's practical too. Just think of all the things you could do with that, right? Right. So anyway, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.